Welcome to the third and last segment of this year's Historical Society presentation on remembering Nunday area businesses. In this part, I asked the audience to name the businesses they thought they would find advertising for in a September 1971 issue of the Nunday News. Then we took a look at all the ads that appeared in the news at that from 50 years ago, sharing memories and stories along the way. I have a question for you. All right, now, I picked 50 years ago, okay? 50 years ago this week. Now, um, some people thought that I should go back a little farther because that's just yesterday, you know? <laughs> it actually was, that I was just, well, I had just graduated from high school because it's our 50th year uh, anniversary. But, so, just picture, 50 years ago, Nunday News, what do you think, what local businesses would have advertised? Now, as Joan, Joan pointed out before, is that not everybody advertised. And that was true back in the 1860s. It was even more true in the 1970s. But uh, still, a lot of local businesses, and Nunday and Dalton did. So let's hear it. what ones, before I show you, can what ones would you expect to see? Lumberyard. Lumberyard. IGA. IGA. Drugstore. Drugstore. Stans. Napa. Stans. Stans. And Napa. And Napa. Okay. Bonadonna uh, grocery store. Bonadonna. Good. Honest Joe the barber. Joe yeah. the barber. Yeah. Elmer. Yeah. Eleanor the hair. Elmer. These are things we're going to look for to see Sorry. if we can find them. Smiling down to Spalding. Spalding, okay. All right. We had some restaurants. Restaurants? We expect to find some, like what? <laughs> 1971. Rainbow. Rainbow. Out of town. Out of town. Out of town. Okay, so what we're going to do is we will take a look and see what ones there are. Maybe flower shop. Okay. Flower shop. What flower shop? Everett Spring. Everett Spring. Okay. Well, let's 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 take a look. Now these are the ones. These are the ones that do appear, and I got all of them. Okay. So here's two. That I don't know if anybody mentioned the furniture store. And this is, is this, this is the Kendall State. Kendall State. Yeah. 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 On the left. Oh, yeah. Chiefs. Chiefs. Okay. Uh, Coffin Shooters. Now, Judy Style Shop in Dalton, what Judy was that? Do you know? And of course, the newspaper itself put it in that. Okay. Tunnelly Motor Sales. Yeah. Which one? Well, this is, well, it doesn't say it's Ford. Oh, that'd so be that, downtown. That'd be North. That'd be North. Yeah. And then the A.J. Doty painting. A.J. Doty, yeah. There's Bond. How do you like those prices? <laughs> oh, look at that. Fabric software, 99 cents. Okay. Burns Drugstore. Having back to school because it's back to school time. That was before Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that filler paper, five hole, from 10 cents to 98 cents. Now, that must have been the difference in size count and the package. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was my uh, quality. Probably a ton of school supplies in June. You got the best price. 
And I remember that we carried it up to June, upstairs. And then before school time, we carried it down. <laughs> but we did a fair amount of school business back then. Gone now. But. And then the Foots. Oh, yeah. Mark for insurance. Oh, yeah. Harriet for, for the realtor. Yeah, and Frankie Step. Millicent Haight, Arthur Hill, and Joyce Knauss were representatives of hers. Okay. Brian Insurance. Mm -hmm. And there's no, that's, that's, the, uh, that's a soda bar. Yeah. Now the, the headquarters for school stopped and look around. And it says quality savings. What were they selling that was school? They sold uh, school supplies. Yeah, yeah they sold. See, that was the farmer drugstore, and mm -hmm. uh, Butch Man always, you know, had yeah. school supplies and we did. Okay, let's see what else we got. And there's the IGA. Okay, it says. Spare ribs and pork roast, <clears throat> chuck roast, 55 cents. And it looks like there are three links together. Now, were they all stands, had to do with stands, or were they just, just three local IGA stores? Mm. Did he? Well, one of them was in East Avon, but I think he was associated with that one. Yeah, he was. Okay, yeah. so these are things that perhaps maybe he had uh, he had an interest in, interest yeah, in yeah. all three yeah. of them. <clears throat> There's the village florist from Mile Street. Yeah. Now this, this group up on the top of it, so there's the Portageville Garage. Now this was 1971. If that was the um, gas station, what was it, Andy? Andy Rice. If right next to the river. That would be taken out during the flood, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And he had one of the primary wine cellars in the county. <laughs> Only Tom would know that. Yeah. <laughs> My dad told me the story. He invited Dad over one time, and he went over. It was a hot day in down cellar, you know, we had Shots of wine or anything from out in the head. He was busy. I mean, it was good stuff, but it was smoke. <laughs> but he's, he's well known as premier winemaker. <laughs> so there's the barn store in Hunt. Is, was that the one, was that next to the uh, Memorial Building? Wasn't there a store there, or was that across yeah, the street? I think so. Yeah, I said that's the one. There's the Memorial Building, and then there was the store. Yeah. All right, McMaster's Garage, we would expect. Uh, now the community dairy, our dairy must have been gone by that time? I think so. Yeah. Uh, Coffins, jewelry store. Uh, Frank Hall's, mobile heating. Those were the tanks down by uh, where Modern Home is now. That's, they were in Modern Home. Where uh, Modern Home is now. Around on West Street. Yeah. 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 Oh, down, yeah, I get to it. Uh, La Barbara's, well, that's Mount Morris. And then Monday Auto Parts, 27 State Street. Yep, that's where we started. Okay. And that's what used to be called the Towner Building, Gail? Yep. Yep. Yeah. So. What building? Monday was Western. No, I, is that, I can't, is that Matt? Does it say Matt? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. okay. Matt was in the Towner Building. Well, I that's think that's where they started. I'm not sure. Dudley and uh, Ralph Cox. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Ralph and Dick Dudley. Dick Dudley. Yeah. 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 I don't know which Piper this is. Jack. Jack. Oh, that was Jack. Jack Piper, right. Oh, my. Shoots, was cool. Shoots oh. Restaurant in Dalton. Anybody remember eating there? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Looks like they had pretty good fat fish fries. Dollar twenty twenty-five. Exactly. Coffee, ten cents. And I bet it was good. Yeah. And George. And George Rathman. And that's Dana's dad, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
meat in our house, good plum in our house. Oh, okay. He's a good farmer. Now, we're next. Grasping. Grasping. That's Elmer's, right? No, no. that's Elmer's. Okay. We're next. He, that's the ad that he used for many years. <laughs> you are next. No. I'm next. No. Sometimes yeah, you'd leave if he had to go for, or you, you get a half haircut and then he got back from his fire call. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> they said he kept his boots right under his bed night after night. Yes. Oh, he was he was a true firefighter. Yeah. As I long as they that. don't put the you are next under the funeral home, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I've got a, a true story about Elmer. I was home from college or something. I had been there quite a while, so then I got a haircut. And we were chatting away, you know, after I got through and I stood up by the door. And so I started to leave, and he said, Tom, he says, you forgot your umbrella. She said, it was a sunny day. That was this way of saying you forgot the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he was, he was a joke. <laughs> now, the Dree Funeral Home, was that on? That's where the man's is now, right? Some place. Yeah. Okay. There was another one in town yeah, that was, uh, on Church for Street. For a brief period of time. Oh, well, yeah. 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 Uh, forest landscaping. <clears throat> Bill Forrest? Yeah. I don't know how long. I believe we're almost done. They're still none day longer in hardware. And of course, just the none day news, it only costs $3 for a school year. And those were all the ads found in the none day news for September 9, 1971. As I ask the audience, if you have suggestions of past Nunday area businesses you would like to see featured in next year's program, message us or email us at the address below. We hope you have had the chance to watch all three segments of Remembering Nunday Area Businesses, Part 4. The first two videos are available on Nunday Historical Society's Facebook page and on our YouTube channel, Nunday History. Thanks for watching.